the Tata Nexon. Yes, a lot of you guys out there love it and some of you might also dislike it. But overall, it is very popular and everyone knows about it. So much so that last year, in its segment, the Nexon was the best-selling car. And if you are considering getting this, then here are five reasons why you should definitely consider it and three reasons why you might want to avoid it. But before we go ahead in this video, do subscribe to Car and Bike if you haven't already. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow enthusiasts. While looks are subjective, I believe that most of y'all will agree that this right now is the best looking version of the Nexon so far. And you get premium bits as well. It is much more high end now and you get the features like LED headlamps, LED DRLs and LED tail lamps which come as standard. So even if you're getting the base version, then this will look just as nice as this top end model. Well, to an extent. Of course, once you go up the variant range, more features get added to the list like bifunctional LED headlamps, roof rails, body colored side cladding and 16 inch alloy wheels with aero inserts among others. All these add to that premium look. While looks can be subjective, comfort is more or less a common aspect. The seats in general are quite comfortable, however, get the top spec fearless trim and you will get ventilation function and that's my favorite. While tilt adjustable steering is standard, auto headlamps are available from Smart Plus S trim and auto climate control is offered from Creative trim onwards. Depending on the variant, both the driver and co-driver get height adjustable seats as well, helping you get a commanding view. Smart is quite literally the theme of this new Nexon. There is the extremely convenient 360 degree high definition surround view cameras with a blind spot monitor, a premium 9 speaker JBL surround sound system and a 10.25 inch HD infotainment system with both wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. What's my favorite bit though is this 10.25 inch fully digital instrument cluster. Yes, it is very informative, but what I love about it that it allows you to mirror the maps on this display. Yes, it is a feature that we have seen in a lot of cars, but what I love about it that you can get it to the full view uh, and that is very handy because uh, when you turn on the indicators, the blind spot monitor covers up the infotainment system and thus covering the entire maps. So when you are at a crucial junction on the road, this one comes in very handy. There's also the voice activated sunroof that also responds to some quirky commands like Hey Tata, Mujhe Tare Dikhao. Sunroof rahe hai. Well, there you have it. You can't leave safety out when you're talking about the Nexon. Well, Tata has quite literally plastered it on the car. Well, jokes apart, the Nexon was the first Indian car to get a 5-star rating from Global NCAP and this new updated Nexon has also received a 5-star rating from Bharat NCAP. So yes, it has the safety credentials. Well, if that's not enough, the car comes with 6 airbags, electronic stability control, isofix child seat mounts, rear parking sensors and hill hole control all as standard. In addition to the standard features, the higher spectrum get a much longer list of safety features. The Nexon is an excellent car to drive uh, and it is a quality that we have seen in uh, some other Tata cars as well. Uh, there is a good balance in terms of both ride quality and handling and that is one of the big USPs of the Nexon. Yes, the suspension is set a bit on the softer side and uh, some big undulations and bumps might be an issue but most of the smaller undulations and speed bumps that this SUV can handle without any fuss and offer you a comfortable ride. The handling is even better. Uh, the car feels stable and solid even when you are doing high digit speed and uh, the straight line stability of the Nexon is also quite good. In fact, the car can even handle the corners quite well. Yes, take a corner a bit too harshly and you will feel some body roll. However, it's not intense enough to bring your confidence down. The steering feel is also good. It is nice and hefty and uh, the feedback is also decent yes i wish it was a bit more better but overall the feel is nice and uh, it does impart a lot of confidence now one of the reasons why a lot of people might avoid nexon or any tata car for that matter is because they are notorious for 
finishing issues yes uh, you will see a lot of panel gaps uneven panel gaps and some exposed welds as well now luckily the car that i have with us this does not have any exposed welds but there are some minor panel gaps that you will notice around these edges and uh, this yes. fuel lid and another issue that i have noticed with this particular car is that the fuel lid does not open unless you are pulling the lever and this lid manually at the same time and that is because of an issue with the locking mechanism Reliability, space and utility is equally important to some of the features I spoke about earlier. And there are some shortcomings in that area when it comes to the next one. Well, the rear seat is quite roomy, but you can only have two passenger here. And uh, at the center, no one can sit very comfortably. Also, the window is a bit too high and along with this all black cabin, that can offer some amount of claustrophobia to some people. Uh, yes, I am 5 feet 9 inches tall, so I am pretty comfortable here. But anyone who's above that will be a bit uh, com uncomfortable at this point because the roof tapers down at the rear and that can brush against the head. And uh, it is much more cramped up front, especially around the driver's seat, because reaching for anything will lead to bumping into some of the other part of the car. So yes, in terms of that area, the designing should have been a bit better. And if you are looking for a more spacious cabin experience overall, then the Nexon might not be the best in that department. There aren't many cubby holes or cup holders to keep your knickknacks and the bottle holders on the door panels are also not big enough. In fact, even accessing the USB ports up front is a task. Now, if there is one thing that takes away from the driving experience of the Nexon, then it has to be this manual gearbox. Yes, it's a six-speed unit and you get the same unit both in the petrol and diesel options. Of course, the lower variant, the smart variant, gets a five-speed unit. However, it is not very refined. Uh, the shifts are notchy and rough and uh, the gears also do not slot that smoothly. And there is also an effort to bring the uh, lever back from the reverse gear to neutral. So yes, overall, it's not a very smooth and, uh, and good experience to use this gearbox. And for newer drivers, that might be a challenge. As for the clutch pedal, it is a bit tall and uh, over long driving, it might add fatigue to a lot of drivers. Also, finding the right bite point will take some time getting used to. But there is a way out. Both the petrol and the diesel versions of the Nexon are offered with automatic options. Yes, you get an AMT version with uh, both the petrol and diesel, whereas the petrol additionally also gets a dual clutch transmission. And if you're not very comfortable with the manual gearbox, then you can definitely go for an automatic option. The Tata Nexon is priced from 8 lakh 15,000 rupees to 15 lakh 80,000 rupees, and that, those are ex showroom prices. Uh, you get this car in four personas, which is smart, pure, creative, and fearless, the one we have with us. And based on the engine and transmission choices, you can have a wide variety of variants to choose from. And if you have decided to go for the Nexon and are confused as to which variant to buy, then you can check our Variants Explained video, which you will find somewhere over here or in the description box below. Now, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And for more automotive content, we keep following Car and Bike.